And that was Fox 40 contributor Glenn Walker reporting for us. Congressman Josh Harder with me now live as he remembers his colleague in the upper chamber coming to us from D.C. where Senator Feinstein passed away in her home there. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. Congressman, the sad news has had some time now to settle in around Washington. What's the mood and what have your thoughts been since learning of this loss of this political warrior? Well, I think within the California delegation, we're all really sad uh, to miss a beloved uh, figure, a real patron saint of California politics, somebody who has left such a lasting legacy on so many issues, gun violence, uh, water, uh, democracy and civil rights. She's been a leader in so many areas. Uh, and it's going to be really hard uh, to replace somebody who has served California for over 54 years of elected service. That is just really just quite a tenure to think about. Now, when you were new to Washington, Senator Feinstein wanted to sit down with you, right? Absolutely. Yeah, I was bright eyed, bushy tailed uh, just a couple of years ago. She invited me to lunch and, and here I thought we were going to talk about gun violence and water and we spent an hour talking about her dog, Kirby, uh, and some of the work that she'd done. Uh, we share a love of animals and a love uh, of the Humane Society and the work that we need to do to, to protect pets. But that really allowed me to see another side of her, a less serious side. And then after that, she wrote me a, a handwritten note to me, uh, absolutely a, a nobody. I think she showed such kindness in her personal interactions, and I think that's one of the reasons she was so successful. Senator Feinstein's health battles from shingles and absence from Washington earlier this year have really sparked a debate about how long someone should serve that's gone all the way into the presidential campaign. She was 90 years old. She was still working. And there's great value, some would say, in that breadth of experience. Well, I hope we can judge her by her record, uh, not necessarily by, by her age. She accomplished so much. And as you said earlier, a lot of that was due to her persistence. Uh, she didn't succeed the first time she ran for office. She didn't succeed the first time she tried to pass an assault rifles ban. She tried, tried again. Uh, and that's the legacy that she's going to leave to California is that persistence in leading from the center. Every single significant issue she led on was bipartisan. Uh, and frankly, that's a, a rarity in today's American politics. And speaking of that, partisan interest aside, what can all lawmakers take away from Senator Feinstein's example, in your opinion? I think we can see her first and foremost as a role model for the next generation. I think about my daughter, 18 months old, who I want her to look for and, and learn from. And it's folks like Senator Feinstein, uh, who did, dedicated so much of their life. She had personal tragedy after personal tragedy, and she moved forward. Uh, she defied the odds, and she broke that glass ceiling as the first woman senator for California. But then not only breaking that glass ceiling, she used her experience to actually get things done. She was tremendously effective, and I think we're all going to miss her. Definitely. Thank you so much for joining us this morning to share not only your political reflections, but also your personal reflections, just dealing with her one-on-one. -on -one. We appreciate you. Thank you.